Hey guys, this is James with Isotropic, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the plugin called Scripts Organizer, and this is offered by the same developer behind the very popular Swiss Knife Pro. In Swiss Knife Pro, we've done another review, I'll link that in the description. It's a great oxygen builder enhancer, and Scripps Organizer is now another tool, not specific for oxygen, but it really helps with any professional developer's workflow who's looking to add various scripts to their WordPress website. And this is kind of like code snippets, but it's a bit on steroids, and hopefully you'll see that. Uh, throughout this video. So first I'm going to quickly go through the features and then I'm actually just going to hop into the back end and take a look at them there too. Then I'll give you my thoughts on, on this plugin and having used it for several weeks now, uh, what I like, what I don't like, and if I think you should go ahead and get it. And disclaimer, I think you should, but hopefully this video will show you why. Okay, so at its core functionality, Scripps Organizer is a way to organize scripts, as the name suggests. So you can add a script, which could be anything from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP. You can add that on the back end, uh, save it, enable it, and then disable it. You can choose where to set it on the website, so you can incorporate it into the header, the footer, uh, maybe a short code, and I'll show you that specifically when we get to the back end. Now, the main selling point here is the thing that sets it apart from other things on the market is that you can schedule your scripts. And because you can schedule your scripts, you get access to a lot of different uh, things that will save you or your clients time. So say you're running a promotion and you have a script that either needs to track the promotion, but it adds weight to the page. So when you're not using that promotion, when you're not running the promotion, it doesn't make sense to use that script. You can now schedule it for a specific day or a specific date or a specific date range. Um, so you can see it starts at 9.30, ends at 5.30, um, and from there, uh, the promotion would be running, you'd be collecting your data, and then it would automatically stop that script, and the website would load quicker because our tracking script wouldn't be there anymore. So something like that could, could have a use case uh, for Scripps Organizer. Set the location very easily, just throw it into the header, throw it into the footer. Um, and then, I mean, there are a bunch of other things, but I think it's more important to actually get into the back end and show you how it works. One other thing before I get there, though, is that um, Marco from the developer from DP Plugins uh, or D Plugins has very recently published the documentation behind this and. Uh, Swiss Knife Pro and this is really well done and uh, if you're not as technical as some people this will be really helpful in teaching you how to use this specifically and I actually referred to this to learn how to use this plugin instead of doing trial and error it saved me a lot of time okay let's get into the scripts organizer feature so here's our uh, or plugin here's our main interface and we can see scripts, features, scripts manager, and then just the license panel. Um, this is your initial page. I've added a script. You can see very easy to toggle on and off. Right now I've had it toggled on. Um, this is just a demo. I've set the description to demo, and this is a short code script. What that means is that I can take this short code, paste it in anywhere, uh, and it will display the script that I have set it to show. Very cool. Um, so this is your initial interface. Uh, before I get into the actual back end here, are just the features we can toggle on and off. We have a dark mode. We can set our code editor font size. Uh, I really like this because if um, my eyesight wasn't as good, I would definitely want to increase that font size. Um, then we can also allow CSS JavaScript uploads, uh, helpful for circumventing the security that WordPress ships with by default. Um, we can even turn on and off this scripts manager. Um, and what the scripts manager is, is just an easy way to add um, either JavaScript uploading it or JavaScript or CSS uploading it into your website uh, and then um, inserting it into the header or the footer or calling it from a CDN. And we can see here, um, this is our script. Uh, we can easily insert it via PHP. Script type can be JavaScript, CSS, location, header, or footer. Uh, and then we can either register and quit it. Um, front end only, back end, if we turn this off, it'll show up in the back end too. And then this is just a standard link. We can also upload a file 
a JavaScript file into our WordPress site if we want to. Okay, now let's get into the meat and potatoes, as we like to say, of the scripts manager. And what I'm going to do is actually go, or the scripts organizer, I'm going to go back to the scripts. So this is what we get when we're actually editing or adding a script. So right now, there are a bunch of different options, and I'm going to run through all of them. Um, so initially, we just title our script. Right now, it's on. I can turn it off. Um, you can see that because this is the main feature here is that you can schedule things. It's going to display my current server time, and we just want to make sure this is set correctly. If it's not, we can go to the WordPress settings and set it to be the correct time. The trigger location, um, we can trigger it everywhere. We can trigger it admin only, or we can use conditions to trigger it on specific ranges of pages or types of pages. The location can either be added to the header, the footer, PHP, so that would be like a code snippet that um, maybe removes a tab from WooCommerce or something like that, uh, or a shortcode. I really like this shortcode feature. It's very easy when it comes to making shortcodes, and that's something that I want to show you with this script. But continuing onwards, because we have it set to conditions and not everywhere, the conditions can be set to be various templates. So I can put it only on a specific page. So you can see I got a bunch of pages here. I can choose various pages. I can choose a post type. And this will pull from custom post types as well. I can choose even categories or, or links or anything like that. Very cool. Uh, really helpful in terms of limiting the exposure of a script. If it only needs to show on one page, why add it to all pages? Why add weight to all pages? Just doesn't make sense. Now the scheduling is another big selling feature here. Uh, we can schedule it to run daily, so all day, or between a specific time. Uh, we can set it to run on specific days. We can set it to run on a specific date. So if there's a promotion we're running on a specific date, maybe we want to show a top bar or a header. That's what we can do here. We can set it for a date range. Right now I have it set for days because what this is saying is Wednesday bubble. And if we look at the code here, it's just a little bubble that says our Wednesday promo is live. Uh, this is a short code. We can insert it into any page. It will only show on Wednesdays. If it is not a Wednesday, it just won't show. Script duration all day. We can set it to run for a specific period of this Wednesday. Uh, and then we can also add a script from the scripts manager. That's something I'll show you right now. So you click on show. Because we've added that uh, other script, let's go back to the scripts manager. Because we added that other script, which is just pulling from a CDN, we can take that CDN, we can see this is titled Locomotive, and we can throw it in to our website, like so. Um, I'm not doing that because I don't need it. And then we can also set a description. This makes it easy to organize different things. We can also tag it. All right, so here's kind of our initial script that we've set. Uh, and we can see that we've added it via a short code. So I'm going to go into Oxygen and just throw in that short code. And you'll notice that it just pulls this, which is just CSS styling and a very basic Our Wednesday promo is live, and it throws it here. Now let's say we only want it to run on maybe Thursday. We don't want it to run on Wednesdays. This is now the Thursday promo. We'll change this to Thursday update the script and now what I'm gonna do is just refresh this shortcode by clicking this and then that and you'll see that even though this shortcode is here we've only set it to run on a Thursday so when this server time changes to Thursday this will automatically show what we just saw and you can see that this is a really basic example but this example can be used for many different purposes. We can use CSS to dynamically hide something on a specific day. So say I don't like this section, I can write some CSS that says display hide or display none. And then that section will go away um, during that specified time that the script is running. So that's essentially what this tool does. It's uh, a code snippets on steroids with a bunch of additional features such as conditional visibility, 
um, the ability to insert via header, footer, shortcode, or PHP, and the ability to schedule based on your server time. Hopefully this gave you some ideas as to how you could use this in your own workflow. Uh, and the final thing I want to do is kind of mention some competitors and why I use this on some projects and why I use some other things on other projects. So the two competitors that I see are advanced scripts and code snippets. Um, advanced scripts is another script manager. They have conditions, but they don't have scheduling features. So if you want scheduling features, then this is really your best bet. Um, advanced scripts I really like I use them kind of interchangeably um, if I want scheduling features if I want an easy way to create short codes um, and a script manager I'll probably go for this one uh, this is a bit cheaper than the most expensive version of advanced scripts and it gives you unlimited um, unlimited installations on WordPress sites uh, I really like this tool it's helped me be a much more efficient developer. Um, it's helped me make client sites much more usable to them by just scheduling things th so they don't have to go in and set a button or maybe choose an option on an ACF page. It's just already there uh, and it's really well done. So that's kind of what this is. You can check it out via the link in the description below. Um, you can get more information on this page linked, to, linked below. Uh, and I definitely recommend you read this um, documentation it's really well done uh, and Marco continuously adds new features to both of his plugins um, I'm a huge fan of the Swiss Knife Pro I use that on all my oxygen sites uh, and this plugin has become an essential part of my toolkit for scheduling scripts uh, hopefully this was a helpful video review of the um, scripts planner uh, and if you have any questions feel free to reach out in the comments section below